back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I am taking giant Eggo waffles for Eleven from Stranger Things. Has she had a cake version of waffles? To make these giant waffles, I baked eight pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake in two 12-inch round pans. Once my cakes are baked and cooled, I level them, remove the caramelization from, car caramelization. Wow, that's the first. I decided caramelization was too long of a word, so I'm just gonna say caramelization from now on. Now I need to round out the edges all around the cake on the top and bottom. First thing I do is mark along the sides about a third of the way down, and then I use a small serrated knife to round out the top edges down to that line. I do this to both cakes and then I flip them over and round out the other side. No, Jeremy no, didn't I, attempt to flip along. Abandoned, abandoned. He didn't even mention it. Felt like he was walking on eggshells during the cake flipping. Eggo shells still. or eggshells? Eggo shells. <laughs> Cut it out, Jocelyn. Now it's time for Sir Squeeze A Lot to help me simple syrup my two waffles. I'm gonna simple syrup these waffles on both sides because I don't need a dry waffle. You know what I'm saying? So now I need to crumb coat this cake and chill on both sides. So I'm gonna start with what is the bottom of the waffle crumb coat with my Italian meringue buttercream and chill. Once that crumb coat is chilled, I'm going to flip my cakes again with no fancy flipping shots and crumb coat the other side and chill. Now I'm going to ice the top side of these cakes and chill them again. These are pretty chilly waffles. I just wanna place a sheet of parchment paper so that when I flip them back right side up, I don't rip off all of this buttercream. So I'm going to flip them both over so that the bottom side is up, which is just the crumb coated side. And now I'm gonna cover both of them with, how do I say, Eggo colored fondant. Guess what one of the colors I used was, Jocelyn? Ivory. Ivory and yellow. Don't forget, all of these recipes are in my cake book. There's a recipe for simple syrup, my ultimate vanilla cake, and of course, Italian meringue buttercream. Now I need to trim away the excess, but not at the base of the cake, about halfway down. I've chosen to cover the waffle in two parts, top and bottom, because waffles have a bit of a seam. It's not really a seam, it's more like because they're in an iron, some of the batter overflows, and this is the way I'm going to recreate that. So now I'm gonna flip these cakes back over so that the top side is up, and just remove the parchment paper. We are going back out on tour, stay tuned. We will be in LA. We're gonna put all the details that you need below. Before I cover this top side, I need to create, well, the waffle grid pattern. Waffle grid pattern. I need to measure and mark out the grid pattern that will make this a waffle. Because if I cover it right now, it'll just look like a, like a chubby pancake, which I'm not really going for. Without a grid, is it a waffle? If there are no waffle irons in the forest, no. Um, <laughs> Once I've marked out my lines, I then need to roll a ton of fondant cords and lay them over this grid pattern that I have marked out on the cake. So let's get rolling. Orhan, there's a lot of footage. It's really hard to roll out cords to the same size when you're doing it by hand. So what I did is I actually weighed little balls of fondant, so like one and a half ounces of fondant, and then rolled it until it was all the, around the same length. Before I apply these cords to the cake, I need to sort of change the shape of them. I don't want them to be as rounded. So what I did is I used two rulers. It's so exciting. That's thrilling. You can that could hear be, in my voice how exciting it is. That Jeremy, could be, are you excited? Woo! Yeah. That could be a scene in Stranger Things. It's that thrilling. So what I did was I compressed, Jeremy, stop laughing. Once I've done this to all of my fondant cords, I begin to apply them to the cake. Starting with the first cake, I lay all the cords on in one direction. 
And then I take the remaining chords and cut them and fill in in between. I was having memories of ice cream cone cake while I did this because I, I made that pattern in a similar way. There's also like a circle around the waffle. It's like the edge of the waffle iron. So I laid a circle on top of these cords that was slightly smaller just to mark around and cut the ends of all the cords, leaving a circle around. While I work on this cake, I want to remind you guys about camp cake. Well, yeah, well, no, word. it's the same word. I don't think that's called <laughs> the rhyming. The easiest way to rhyme is to use the, the same word. The same word. We should send every rapper a newsletter with that, this info. <laughs> use the same word, Just use guys. the same word. <laughs> every sentence in the song ends with the same word. <laughs> Camp Cake is a live stream baking event happening on December 9th, where I bake in the comfort of this kitchen and you bake at home in yours. We're going to be making some great holiday baking projects together, step by step, there's a link below to register or you can go to howtokickit.com and the sale price is still on. I will see you on December 9th. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll out some fondant cords. Yeah, I'm gonna roll them out just slightly thicker than the other 50 I rolled out and uh, it wasn't 50, it was more like 20. But this time I'm not gonna flatten the cords. I'm going to leave them completely round and then I wrapped them around so that they fit perfectly around the grid pattern and trimmed where the fondant met. You really need to chill these cakes for a while before we cover them because we need to let these cords get really, really cold and stay in place. Otherwise, when we cover it with fondant, we're gonna squash them or move them around. We can't have like a misplaced grid pattern. How scary is that? Put that in Stranger Things. I bet there are misplaced grid patterns in the upside down world. I bet you there's no rulers either. <laughs> uh, the name itself tells you what it's about, right? I wanna go to right side up. <laughs> now it's finally time to cover the tops of these waffles and make them look like giant waffles. I take that same Eggo colored fondant and roll it out large enough to cover the waffle. And then I drape it over and here's where it gets tricky. I need to work all of the fondant down into each sort of square of the grid pattern. So what I'm gonna do is use a straight pin just to get out some of the air trapped underneath and a soft paint brush. And that brush is gonna help me sort of brush it down and release air through the pinhole. And then I can go back with my fingertips very carefully and smooth out the fondant within each square. Because the grid pattern is obviously very square, but the waffle is round. As you get to the outer edges of the waffle, you won't have full squares. You might have like little triangles. So those are really hard to work the fondant into because the space is really small. So if your paintbrush pokes a hole, don't worry. Take a little more fondant, soften it in your fingertips, push it in and then smooth it down with the paintbrush. Once all the fondant is smoothed into the grid pattern, we will address the sides of the cake. So just smooth it along the sides with the palm of your hand. And then we're going to trim the fondant at that halfway mark. And I found it helpful to do it with a pair of kitchen scissors. Waffle seams aren't even, it's overflow. So it's usually not even all the way around. In my cake book, I make waffles in an easier way, way less than half the time, and taste delicious. And I paired those waffles with fried chicken. So make sure to check that out. Leave a comment below if you have seen my fried chicken and waffle cake in the book. Hashtag fried chicken and waffle. Has Eleven paired her waffles with fried chicken yet? Leave me a comment below, let me know. So to toast these waffles, I'm gonna toast these waffles. Guess who I invited back to the kitchen to help me with these waffle cakes? Bernie. Guys, can we cheer for Bernie or something? Sorry. He's, he hey, does a lot. Wow, that was not, I don't think you realize how hard Bernie works. I don't wanna toast it as much as the crust on my pizza cake. Cause I find that like frozen waffles when you put them in the toaster, they don't really brown that much. Make sure to brulee underneath the seam as well. And then all around the side and finally the grid pattern, which was really a lot of fun. It's okay if one side of your waffle looks more toasted than the other. I think that makes it look more realistic. I feel like they brown slightly or they're burnt. Is anyone with me on this? Don't you agree? So they're like avocados. Yeah, exactly. They're either like not ripe enough, not ripe enough, not ripe, but I'm not sure it's not ripe enough, overripe. Now, 
You need to brulee the second waffle. Your pro now, go ahead. Now I'm going to chill these giant waffle cakes and let them cool completely. And in the meantime, I wanna make some butter. Well, some butter colored buttercream. So I use two shades of yellow to color some buttercream and I keep a pound of butter beside me to match it up. And then I just place that buttercream into a bowl, pack it down and chill it until it's completely firm. I just use an ice cream scoop and form, I think I made like four scoops of butter colored buttercream. And I place them on a plate until I'm ready. I'll never forget the first time I went to like a breakfast chain in the States and I ordered waffles and the butter was in a scoop. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> Honestly, I was like, is this, did they put ice cream on my waffles? Cause it was like whipped butter and the scoop was quite big. I had never seen that before. For the syrup on top of these waffles, I am going to use of course, 100% Canadian maple syrup. So I'm going to mix my maple syrup with corn syrup, about half and half, stir it together just to thicken up the maple syrup. Finally, I'm ready to serve these waffles. I'm ready to put them out so Eleven can come get them. It will only take her 11 hours to eat them. <laughs> if you're just here for the cake, just like I am, you should head to howtocakeit.com and sign up to be a Cake Tea Club member. This is this month's Cake Tea Club tea. Wow, Cake Tea Club tea. You're right about the rhyming. <laughs> If you're a Cake Tea Club member, please leave a hashtag below, Cake Tea Club, and make sure to tag us on Instagram with pictures of yourself in our cake teas. We love seeing that. So, Jeremy, you haven't tagged yourself in any cake teas. <laughs> I've decided to top these waffles with chocolate chips, but they would be too small. So I am using some chocolate kisses I sprinkle on, or I told Jeremy, I'm gonna sprinkle these on. He's like, are you gonna sprinkle them or strategically place them? I did a combo. It's because of you guys that I made this cake, so I hope you like it, and I hope I made 11 proud. Where should I leave them out for her? Which world? Definitely not an upside down. No, that would be terrible. No. Butter scoops all over the floor. <laughs> if you're a big fan of Stranger Things or just waffles in general, make sure to share this video. I hope to see you on December 9th at Camp Cake. And don't forget to pick up a Camp Cake bundle at howtokeekit.com while you're registering. Camp Cake bundles don't come with giant Eggo waffle cakes in them. Join me. Why don't we have a camp cake song? I feel like every single time we promote camp cake, I say this. And you still haven't written it or sung it, Justin? I haven't. Why? Maybe. Well, now I don't have to figure out rhyming words. I can just. Just be like, <laughs> camp cake. Hold on. Camp Do cake. you like camp cake? Or then you. join us at camp cake. There'll be a lot of cake. <laughs> Take a picture of oh, your cake. See? Wow. wow. You just wrote it for me. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Wow. I feel like it's going to need some good vocals. You know what I mean? 